that's my, mine and Peggy's house. That's the largest tree house in the world. How do you know this is the largest tree house in the world? Well, I've been claiming it and nobody said it, it isn't. <laughs> nobody showed me a bigger one. It's 1,800 square feet upstairs. And this is live? No, this is this tree is not. It took me two years to find it. It's a 300-year-old white oak, and I had to build this whole artificial root foundation for it. My favorite part is all the birds and the view. Yeah, one of the things that elevates you enough that, you know, like we're above the bushes and everything. It feels like you're in the trees and so you were like, you could see all the birds all the time and it's a great experience. So you basically have trees on all sides? I mean, it's not a tree house, it's a trees house. Well, yeah, it's in trees. a... Trees. Trees house. It's in a grove of oak trees. Well, this is attached to this tree here. This house is attached to that tree. This tree is attached to that tree. It's far better for this grove that I'm up in the trees than if I was to build the house amongst them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trees. A tree is actually a vertical cantilevered. It's like the Empire State Building, okay? Empire State Building has got all these anchors in the ground and it's vertically cantilevered up. So now you've got a wind force in this. Uh, the engineer computed the force of this elevated structure at 250,000 foot-pounds of torque that you need to be able to take care of at the base. Normally, how you would do a house is you'd put this foundation all around the edges. And, but then you would have to dig down 18 inches, put your foundation in, and then you build your walls up from there and you get your shear, and that, that's how you get your shear, your 250,000 pounds of foot torque. But here, if I would have done that, all these roots in here are all intermingled. If I put a regular foundation, I would be cutting all these roots out. A lot of people build, what they do is they cut all the roots, which shortens the life of that tree, and in a windstorm, it can actually fall over because some of the roots are cut. What I did is, these, my, for my foundation, my shear, I've, uh, this is a pipe that's driven into the ground to refusal. There's only a little bit of penetration into the roots. Then what I did is I put aerators in underneath the cement and then inch and a quarter, inch and a half rock, then the concrete on top of it. So uh, one of the things you can do is you can smother the roots. So that's why I put air, aerators in it and then you can compact the soil. So that's why I spread it out with a slab of concrete on inch and a half rocks. This house is able to withstand 250,000 pounds of torque at its base. And that's what the root systems of trees do. They kind of sort of grab the soil though. They really don't go down real deep, uh, but they kind of grab the soil and you get quite a bit of torque out of them. I mean, they can, you know, they can withstand, you know, 80 mile an hour winds. A tree, we figure a healthy tree in its middle age, not at the end of its life, has a 50% of safety margin built in. So you take the area of its sail area or its leaves and everything like that, and you give it a, a wind coefficient, and then you take a 60 mile an hour, 80 mile an hour wind, and they, they survive, they don't blow over. So this has got a sliding bracket on it, and, and if you look on this, you can see where it moves around every so often. It just goes back and forth. This probably is holding up to 20,000 pounds. And on a windy day, this thing creaks and howls, and it actually, this is a pretty good sized tree. You wouldn't think it would move much, right? But it does move. I mean, you get a big wind, you got a lot of leaves up there, it's gonna move it. Now, the nice thing about being in this grove of oak trees is it's passive solar, all right? Because in the summertime, it's in the shade, and in the wintertime, it's in the sun. Every tree house is unique, because every tree is unique. It's an old craft. It's a wood craft, too. I mean, it's, I really like working with wood, and uh, it's the way that I found 
that I that I can and make money at. 